Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews again with a new uh, tip for you. Um, sometimes you want to be able to create an HTML email on your iPad instead of having to send one to yourself and copy that one and things like that. Sometimes you just, that's all you have is your iPad. We're slowly trying to create, make the iPad a a laptop of sorts that stays on, you know, things like that. So you want to be able to create the, the email directly on the iPad. And you want to kind of do, I, I want to give you the option to do that for free instead of having to pay for an app. And the the going uh, quote that I like to use is for every app that you can pay for on online, there are 10 apps that you can do it or ways that you can do it for free. So let's get right to it. The um, program that we're going to be using or the software we're going to be using is online. It's an online HTML editor and it's one of the best ones I've seen thus far and it's called markable.in. And here I've already gotten a, a signed in but it's really easy to sign in it's free and there's live preview and things like that it's no fee no monthly uh, fee or anything like that it's really wonderful so we're gonna go to the editor here and what's great is that um, you have like I said the preview you can use as I'm using right here the um, a, an image that's sourced from Dropbox, so that is always online. And of course, whenever you use your emails, you want to use your your sources from you know an online source, something that has uh, is on a server somewhere. And um, if you don't know how to write HTML, um, that would probably be a hindrance because there's no drag and drop here. Um, there are plenty of tutorials on how to create an HTML email, but right quick. Um, the best, the easiest way is to just create your table and then within your table create your um, your row and then within your row create your, your data, your cell. Okay, and there you have it and then all you have to do here is copy and then paste it a couple of times and now you have your three rows and right here you can put like your title right and then right here you can have this is my information and then you can even uh, put your copyright information here 2015 by me okay and you can even format which is really cool you can um, and I'm not gonna go too too into this but you can format let's just do some simple formatting here uh, let's do the background color um, gray And there's your gray background color okay so it's, it's really nice it's really easy to format um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you on my iPad which is right here a formatted one already and so I'm trying to click and drag with my mouse and of course I can't do that so <laughs> this is this is basically the formatting I've used I have the border I have self padding I have the although this border should be zero here it should be zero and as you can see a blink over here uh, as soon as I do an update it immediately update uh, or do a change it immediately does the update okay so for example uh, now that you've created your your you know you can use it on your iPad now that you've created your email and you saved it and here I have several email templates on their server so I can update the song list for example here I have um, a choir that I direct and here's my song list so if I wanted to change this songs list from September to October I just go to the corresponding area right here which is right here and change this to October
and as you can see it updates it instantly for me okay so um, now how do I get this into my email well let's go back to the email template oh and as you can see I'm, I'm coming away from the from the one that I just changed from September to October and if I go back to the open here to the song list notice it automatically saves it for you so you don't have to worry about going here and saying save it'll if you move away from it it'll automatically save your your changes so that's a nice little feature so let's go ahead and open that email template and now when you're copying you don't want to copy it from this preview area right here because if you copy from the preview area that's right here then um, it'll give you all that pre format so the best way to do this is to go to view single page preview and now you have the proper preview here so you can go ahead and and uh, do your same thing that we did before that's my entire email I'm gonna do copy I'm gonna go back to my email here and I'm gonna create a new email again I'm gonna select all here that I can paste on top of it and then I'm gonna do undo so you go to one two three undo here and now it's properly formatted the way you want it to be formatted and you, of course you could send it all out it'll be um, compatible comparable and compatible to your phone so everything will work perfectly so if you have any comments questions um, please leave them below also um, please subscribe because that's the only way that you can get some of these updates. I'm going to be trying to do more updates. I need to buy this reflector because with iOS 9, you need reflector too. So I'm going to have to purchase this, but uh, help me out here and go ahead and subscribe, click like, and let me know if you have any other questions. Have a wonderful day.